The EV maker's AI and autopilot chief says he's leaving the company. Ed Ludlow back here with more. Obviously, this is a critical role. Yes, this is Andre Karpathy. He's been at Tesla since 2017, but he went on leave in March. And, you know, sources have told me this was a guy that didn't miss a day of work for mm -hmm. five years. He went on leave. He's tweeted that he's leaving Tesla, you know, in strong, capable hands, autopilot the work Tesla's done on AI to power that camera-based technology has really come a long way. But he's doing something new. We just don't know what. So do, do we know if this had anything to do with disagreements or a deprioritization of like the work that he's doing? We don't. But you remember last week we reported that Tesla laid off around 230 autopilot data labelers, you know, as part of the big layoffs program. They have made progress in this area. They're working on their own chips, their own supercomputer dojo to help the AI train the neural networks to improve this technology. But he's been on leave. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And now he's called time on his Tesla career. So just another problem for Elon Musk. Another apparently. one, but Elon <laughs> tweeted he's grateful for the time he had. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, what, what has Elon said so far about the Twitter suit? Have we heard from him? He tweeted, oh, the irony, mm -hmm. lol. <laughs> Gotta get a lull in there. This is cutting edge. Yeah. So look, how are we expecting this story to progress? You know, in terms of moving through the courts, um, when are we going to see another development? We've seen Twitter salvo. When are we going to see a salvo? Two school of thoughts. Musk counter sues. It could go to trial, move very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to have a very protracted legal dispute. It's already the two. been protracted. I mean, in court for a year's summer bracing for. Really? Yeah. So what happens to Twitter in that time? I mean, what well, about the uncertainty? This is a real financial headwind for them. It's a financial and public relations headwind. But it's headwind for employees. I mean, they're trying to recruit people, get people to stay at the company, and keep the trains running. Right? Exactly. So, and that was part of what Twitter CEO Paragagrawal said to employees on Wednesday. We're facing changing economy and this court case brace yourself what are we seeing what are we hearing inside the company from employees i know you're talking yeah. to a lot of people they're not that impressed right <laughs> they feel like twitter's management have been on the back foot this whole time that they should have been more proactive that elon musk's all hands a few weeks ago just was kind of the the icing on the cake's not the right word the mm -hmm. final straw for a lot of employees and they've they've frozen hiring they've cut projects it's not a happy as happy a place to work right now but there's fighting talk coming out from management and the board. Indeed. So sometimes fighting talk gets you going.